And what is good? It's another Friday. Hopefully we're inter- interrupting whatever it is you were doing. And hopefully later today you'll have another ring to add to this box. That's right. I need more space. Well, you need more rings. Yeah. I got plenty of fingers. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. That's right. Not tomorrow. Today's Tonight. a big day. Tonight. Big day. You got a video right now. We got... Hopefully a ring ceremony, a.k.a. Medal. medals. But that's for later. It's the state championship. But for right night. now. That's right. It's football time. Let's get it. Uh, people's picks, real quick. We're just going to we're gonna hit on the bonus question from last week. Obviously, here's our leaderboard. One, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Here it gosh. is. Yep, here we go. Make sure you're getting your picks in. Don't want to miss out on these points. Never miss but out. But let's get it out of the way. Wow, All right. there it goes. Yeah, so that was quick. Okay, so last week the bonus question was how many teams in college football are sponsored by Jordan and wear Jordan uniforms? The correct answer is five. Cinco. We thought it was four. It is five. This year it went to five. The first one, obviously, North Carolina. Very easily. Florida wears Jordan uniforms. Yes, Michigan wears Jordan uniforms. Yes. Oklahoma wears Jordan uniforms. Yes. And this year, debuting their Jordan uniforms was UCLA. Correct. We had one possibility of a uniform, but they don't wear it throughout the season. Oregon apparently wore a Jordan uniform. And there was picture proof. There was picture proof. But five teams wear Jordan uniforms. So if you chose five. So if you chose five, you got it. Ding, ding, ding. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into some picks. Here we go. NFL starting us off. Colts, Bills. Bills are favored by seven points. Sunday, 1 o'clock, CBS. The Mafia. I'm going Mafia, but I am saying do not sleep on the Colts because they have been making an uprise. Jonathan Taylor has been having a great season. So it's going to be be close. But the Bills, very close. Bills, I'm going with you. Bills improved to 7-3. and Giving the Colts their sixth loss. Beautiful. I like it. That's a great pick, by the way. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. All right, Bengals, Raiders. R- Bengals are favored by one. This is 4.05 on Sunday, CBS. How are the Raiders doing without their head coach? Who is suing the NFL, by the way? I mean, they're doing okay. Okay. Um, How about on Sunday? Uh, I'm going Bengals. I'm going Bengals with you. It's going to be a close game, though. Yeah. As you can tell. One point. Minus one point. That's a... Ow, just hit my tooth on the mic. That oh. hurt. Oh. That's You're all. You're getting I, excited. I think I am getting a little too excited for some football. <laughs> Anyways, Bengals, super close game. Okay, I'm with you on that. Bengals getting it done. Here we go. Cardinals, Seahawks. Cardinals are favored by two points. 425 on Fox. As another Sunday game. Do you know why this game is so close? I, I want to know why. They're missing their quarterback. Oh. Hey, the Cardinals. The Cardinals. They're missing their receiver. Okay. So they're missing their two big comp- key components. Okay. They're sitting at eight and two, though. Yes. And they're playing the Seahawks. Yes. Who have gotten back their guy. Yes. At quarterback. Yes, they did just lose. At Lambeau to a very good team. That's why the spread's so close, and that's why I'm taking the Seahawks. I'm going with you. Back. Seahawks at home, I believe. Yes. Seahawks. Yes. Handing the Cardinals their third loss on the year. I agree. All right, I'm with you. Very nice. Oh, my gosh, we have the Cowgirls next. All right, number four, game number four for us, Cowboys, Chiefs. Chiefs are favored by two and a half points, 425 Fox. And the Chiefs have been looking a lot better. Yeah, they're getting there. Only at four losses on the season, six wins. It's not bad. Can they get seven right here? They're going to seven. I'm thinking so. They're going to seven. Don't get me wrong. The Cowboys have been looking nice as well. But the Chiefs have found their little bit of mojo, and they're about to ride it out to the rest of the season. They are going for win number seven. That is right. Mr. Mahomes is doing his thing. Feeling it. He's getting back on track. Mahomes. Feeling it. Leads the Chiefs to a win. And lastly, here we go, Steelers, Chargers. Chargers are favored by five and a half. This is 820 Sunday night. Sunday night football, NBC, Chargers. I had a little little whisper in my ear from Carrie again. Oh, she's talking to you. She is again. Oh, okay. She says, Adam, 
The Chargers win. Oh. So, I'm trusting my girl. Chargers. All right. Well, just to make it interesting, I'll split with you on this one. I'm going Steelers. You're going to be wrong. All right. We'll just see. We'll see. Saying. And now for our favorite time. Okay. Yeah. Always. College football. It's here. Let's see. We're starting where we, hot. Where are we getting it? Right here. Starting very All right. Hot. Michigan State, Ohio State. Number seven, number four. Can you just read that spread for me real the quick? The spread is 19 points in favor of number four Ohio State. 12 o'clock ABC. And Michigan State is ranked what? Number seven. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. Upset Michigan State. That's what I'm picking. I wish Michigan State could, but this is just yeah. an Ohio State thing. I think Ohio State wins. Yeah, they got to get their favorite team has got to make the playoffs. This is just so Ohio State yes. of them. Um, Go Spartans. But, hey, if it happens, I picked it. Good. I hope you're right. Yeah. I really do. I don't think I will be, though. I really hope you're right. But for the sake of the pick, I'm choosing yeah. Ohio State. Smart pick. All right, are we picking the Paul? <sighs> we got to. All right, Wake yes. Forest, number 10, Clemson. That's right. Unranked. Yep. Clemson's four-and-a-half-point favorite. Yes, they are. 12 o'clock ESPN. Do you know why they're a favorite? Because... Uh, this is just two bad because football teams. Because it's Wake teams. Forest. Yeah, it's two bad football teams. Wake Forest played North Carolina last week, and they were yeah. still the underdogs. Yeah. They are now playing Clemson. Underdog. The real reason I was going to say they're on the underdog is because Clemson hasn't lost at home in over, I think it's like 34 games. Does it happen? No. Okay. No. Okay. This clenches Clemson into the ACC championship somehow with three losses – they survive. They survive. They go to the ACC championship. Clemson wins over Wake Forest. Upset. They uh, beat them. Uh, but their favorite team, I don't know. Do they cover? Uh, four and a half. I think it's going to be a three-point yeah. game. Right. Three-point game. All Wake right. Forest gets the gets the cover. Okay. I don't know your choice. Uh, you I'm going to have to say Clemson. I think it's just yeah, typical. That's what, it, that's what it is. That's right. All right. Yes. Let's Arkansas, get it. number 21. Number two, Alabama. Alabama's favored by 21 points, as they should be. Roll tide. 330 CBS. I do have to concur with you. Yeah. Roll tide roll. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if this is really going to be that close. Everyone got really happy on the woo pig. Um, and I, I mean, think seven and four. If they, once they I mean, lose that's a good first year for this coach, right? Seven and four. And then they, I'm assuming they got another game next week. Uh, so possibly eight and four, even a seven, seven and five, five season. Terrible. That's not bad. First start, yeah, uh, but yeah. Bama, Bama, Bama rolls as they normally do. So roll, tide roll. But all this right, is where things this is where things get really interesting. Yes. And I like this game. I want to watch this game. I can't wait to watch this game. Three thirty, ESPN. We're probably gonna have a couple TVs going, but we're gonna have to. You should as well because this is a game to watch. SMU at eight and two on the season. Going into Cincinnati, ranked number five, undefeated, 10 wins, zero losses. They are favored by 10.5 points. SMU, come on, give me an upset. I'm being honest. I am choosing them. This is Cincinnati. I know they're not sleeping on this SMU team because SMU has been just always sneaky good the past couple of years. SMU with the upset at Cincinnati. I just hit my tooth Again, You're just so too that means excited. I You're need too to be excited. done talking yeah, about this game. Down. So, calm down. Calm down. SMU. Is that all you have to say? To yeah. Me? Okay. We are Mustangs right along. All right. Number three, Oregon. Number 23, Utah. Utah is favored. What? I just saw that as well. What? What is happening? 730 ABC. Number 23, Utah. Favored by three points against number three, Oregon. That's incredible. What? Incredible. Oregon has taken offense to that. They took, they're going to take it personally. Because what kind of uniform have they worn before? Yes, they wore Jordan. They're feeling the Jordan vibe. They're going to stay at number three. They're going to win on the road. You're choosing Oregon. What? Yeah, what? The disrespect. What are you doing? Get them out of here. Okay. You think it's going to happen? The Utes. Okay. I don't even know if this is what they do. No. I think they do. Yeah, we don't know. It's, something, it's, something, it's something similar it's to something. Miami. Oregon, get them out of here. Okay, we'll see. 
We shall see. Utah. Utah. Upset. All right. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how ga- how many games we've chosen. I don't know, but there, that's the, there they are. And then we got the two helmets right here. Lastly, Carolina hosting Auburn. Mike Bobo is going to be back in the building. That's right. Uh, that's right. Don't really know what to say about this game. It is 7 o'clock on ESPN. Auburn's favored only by 7.5 points. It did go down from a beginning. Yeah. Uh, Bo got hurt. They're like, oh, gosh. Bring it down. But South Carolina's notorious for making backup quarterbacks look really good. So. And we have already made this backup quarterback look really good. He played at LSU. And he torched uh, us. Yeah, he did, yeah. I'm choosing Auburn. Yeah. So Choosing Auburn, pulling for, pulling for the Gamecocks. Carolina. Just yeah. going for the pick, right? Uh, so Auburn is who we're choosing. Um, Obviously, go Cox. Yep. Anyways, everyone's. Favorite. Favorite time? Segment. All right, let's get it. All right, people's people's, people's picks. picks. We killed that. All right. Anyways. Give it to me. Starting off, we are going to the NFL. All right. We are choosing okay. which quarterback will have the most passing yards this week. In the NFL. In the NFL. How many so points are we given? We're only given two. All right, two Just points. simple two points. Nothing too crazy. All right. All right. Nothing too crazy. We're starting off first. Our first quarterback is Josh Allen. Again, he is playing the Colts. I don't know if that changes your opinion, if he's going to be your first guy. But first, Josh Allen. Our second person is going to be reigning MVP Aaron Rodgers. Okay. So we're so far between Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Thirdly, we have Mr. Russell Wilson. Okay. Going against the Cardinals. Another, another MVP. That's right. We're sticking with MVPs. All right. Mr. Patrick Mahomes okay. going against the Dallas Cowboys, and we got one last left. Oh, my gosh. He is famous for being an MVP. Mr. Tom Brady. Okay. We are choosing between those quarterbacks on who will pass for the most yardage this week. Once again, all the information you need is right there in the description below. Do your research. Make your picks. Submit it right there in the comment section. Two points for that question. What? Hey, what is question number uh, two? So this one's going to be a little more difficult. Okay. So we're going to double it. Oh, it's going to be worth four, four points. points. All right. So going to college football, 25 – The um, we're going – first off, let me clarify. We're – We've been questioned a lot, so we're going to clarify here. We're going off of the college football rankings, who comes out on every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. We're going off their rankings, the top 25, which how, – how many of those teams ranked in the top 25 lose this week? How many of those teams lose? Six. And as a heads up, obviously Michigan State and Ohio State are playing, so automatically there's you one team. Obviously, we have uh, Alabama and Arkansas. I'm just oh, clarifying so everything. Two. So there's two automatically that are going to lose. So you're saying at least two. At least two. I'm going six. You're going six. How many top 25 teams lose this week? Four Sim- points. Four points. Simple as that. Four points. All right. And then here we go. Here's a free two points. If you pay attention to our videos, we had – a mini helmet sitting up here. Not this mini helmet. No. But we had a mini helmet sitting up here in our last actual video. So last week was just kind of a short little video. Was it last week? It was the week before, wasn't it? It was it was a couple it was a couple shows ago. Whatever. There was a mini helmet sitting up here. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it was a Bama helmet. How many championships had they won on that year's mini helmet? How many championships has Alabama won? So what are you trying to say? On that there's a number on the helmet. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I don't know. You just gotta. We don't know. You gotta know what year that helmet's from, and then how many championships they won. It's a little difficult. But if you know football, you know the answer. Maybe. I feel like a lot, I'm going to get a lot of questions about this. Yeah, you might. It's, can't, it, it's it's a little obvious. Two points. Very nice. All right. That's Once all again. All the information you need is right there in the description below. Make your comments below. Mm. 
I'm gonna go win a state championship. If not, better it's luck happening. next year. Yeah, nope, it's happening. It's happening. And as always, Sean's up and Shane train. <laughs>